probably the most searched topic about Into the Radius is modding. Everybody and their grandma wants to know how to mod this game. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. All right, so first what you're gonna wanna do is go to Doodle and search up Nexus Mods. It should look like this. Go ahead and click on Nexus Mods. Create an account if you haven't already. Once you've done that, go up to search and type in Into the Radius. You should be able to find a couple of Into the Radius mods just like that. For example, there's one right here. It's the Into the Radius modded save file. And it says Into the Radius VR miscellaneous. Click on Into the Radius VR. And it'll take you to Into the Radius VR's mod page. So these are all mods for free that you can download for Into the Radius. I'm going to go over here and sort by the most popular mods of all time. Since I'm literally recording this video on Christmas, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how you can download and install the frozen wasteland mod so click on the frozen wasteland mod go to files and i'm going to manually download this file choose a slow download so you don't have to pay for it click to download and then you will see that it is currently downloading that mod now that the frozen wasteland is downloaded you can open the file all right once you're in here now you're going to want to left click on your mouse go down to show more options you can just extract all of the files right here in your download folder. Or if you have 7-zip, which is a file extraction tool that you can download for free online, extract the files to a designated folder. It doesn't really matter where it is, but I suggest you make a folder and title it into the radius mods, just so you know where it is. All right, so extract. Now, go and head on over to Steam, go to your game library, find where Into the Radius is, left click Into the Radius, go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. All right, and that will open up this file. So you're now gonna wanna go ahead and click Into the Radius, Content, and then Packs. This is where you install mods. So now go to the Into the Radius Mods folder that you made previously, where you extracted the Frozen Radius mod. Click it a few times until you find this file. It is a pack file. This is the mod, okay? Just drag it right on over. Bane, Frozen Wasteland. If we did everything correctly, I should be able to load into Into the Radius and it will be a Frozen Winter Wonderland definitely spooky definitely terrifying it is adding to the aesthetic i wasn't expecting these guys to be here yeah you little piece of shit and now that you know how to install mods here are a few mods to help you get started i hate saying this guy's name but chuck shark's weapon mods basically this guy swapped out a bunch of the current gun models and textures in the game with their tarkov variants so all of the guns that this guy has created mods for have textures that look a lot more weathered grimy and honestly realistic looking and this guy's list of guns that he's modded is actually pretty long just a few of my favorites are guns like the m14 and you may not have seen yet but this is the m14 boys this is the perfect weapon for picking off spawns from from long range buddy little fucker didn't even see it coming <laughs> i love how grimy these skins look it looks so much more realistic you can actually see some edge damage all right take a look at this this is the akm this is the exact model and texture from the Tarkov game. Much more rusted, tattered, you know, grimy. It has a bunch of scrapes and scratches all over it, dude. Dude, the thing that I love about this retexture, it has kind of like a speckled, grainy look. You can see the areas where there's been more use because those areas are a little bit smoother, like more worn down. Super nice, dude. And the magazine looks different. It's like half black, half painted. Looking really good, dude. I love this mod author. And this is the Glock 18 retexture. Pretty much turned all black. There's a lot more edge damage. You can tell where this gun's been used. I think maybe there's some dirt on there. Looking pretty damn sweet. All right, and as you can tell, dude, this is a completely different look. This is the model of the M4 carbine. Carbine? Straight from Tarkov. It looks... I mean, what can I say, dude? Tarkov textures are definitely pretty damn nice. <laughs> Next up is probably my favorite mod on this list because it's newish and it's really scary. This mod is called The Mist and it's created by Sadrus and Stachu. It basically creates a really thick, dense fog pretty much everywhere in the radius. It drastically reduces visibility and makes the game feel 10 times scarier. It is so misty out here. I cannot see anything right now, dude. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to 
venture out into the radius at night with this mist mod on. I don't, I don't think this is a very good idea if I'm being honest, but we're doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you joking right now? I literally can't see anything. I highly recommend the mist mod, guys. This definitely spices things up a bit. I'm seriously terrified right now. You know that feeling when you're in like a pitch black dark room and you're not quite sure where you're at? Looks like we have our first victim of the night. Okay. This M14 is looking slick as heck right now, dude buddy and it is snowing out there i could not possibly recommend more when you download the mist mod you also download the winter wonderland mod hey i see somebody well he's well he's running spoiler alert this is freaking sweet winter wonderland and the mist are a match made in heaven if you boys are having a hard time getting this game to run on your PC, let me share with you a little trick. First of all, use the upscale method, AMD FSR. 150 is pretty good. The lower that you make this, because you might be running into some performance issues, you just want to increase the upscale sharpness because that helps a lot, believe it or not, with just combating the lower resolution. If you're looking for a mod that will completely shake this game up, then look no further, because this mod is called Stalker Overhaul Mod by Stachu and Ziggy Lada. This mod essentially changes most aspects of the game. Security levels are now no longer an aspect of the economy of the game. You will be able to find any weapon or item out in the radius now. Loot generation has been added in this mod, which means you can explore almost endlessly in the radius without really needing to return to base. Any type of enemy can spawn anywhere now, so you guys really need to be on your toes. There are new custom upgrades for weapons, enemies have had their AI, health, and damage all adjusted, and this mod is truly an overhaul of Into the Radius. It allows for an insane amount of replayability, and if you only download one mod off of this list, this is 100% the one. There's a different intro music for the stalker mod. <laughs> That's lit. All right. You get the SSH-40 helmet when you download the uh, Stalker mod. All right, let's go out into the freaking radius because now we can basically do a shockless playthrough. I mean, I'm going to put that helmet on really quick. I want to see how big of a difference this is. I feel tough right now, dude. Still literally can't see anything. Now, if you want to really make this game scary, bro, do this shit. Download this mod, put the helmet on. This is insanely difficult. The light makes it 10 times better, but it's like, I kind of don't want it to be better. I like having almost no visibility. This is like, this brings scary to a whole new level. Uh, I've never had a sniper in this location before. The enemy spawns are definitely mixed up now, dude. Anybody can spawn anywhere. Making this way more terrifying, bro. Where's this guy? There's so many snipers out here now. And where'd this fucking guy- Oh no! <laughs> dude! Do you ever just wish that the Into the Radius backpack was bigger and you had more room to store loot? Well then you're going to enjoy Extreme Rider 89's Backpack Expansion mod. This mod is more of a quality of life mod. It, it expands your backpack and allows for some more storage space down underneath your backpack. You can store knives, energy drinks, cigarettes, and basically any small to medium sized items will be storable there. And last, but most certainly not least, this mod is a fitting way to end your night out in the radius. We are all distinguished, fancy explorers here, so instead of smoking cigarettes, this mod replaces the cigarette model with a full cigar. And funnily enough, this cigar seems to burn sideways. Very strange, but hey, we are in the radius after all, so a cigar burning sideways is probably the least strange thing happening out here. You don't want to get back home after a long day exploring out in the radius and smoke a cigarette. You're fancier than that. So thankfully, we have a mod now that lets you smoke stogies wherever you goddamn please. And the funny thing too about this mod is that for some reason, the, the cigars burn lengthwise. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> and as you can see, there's even a little joint in here. That's why I like to call this the spicy cigar mod, because I'm pretty sure this is a cigar with a joint in the middle of it, AKA spicy cigar. 
If you've been watching this video the entire time thinking, oh dude, I cannot wait to install all of these mods on my Quest 2 standalone version of Into the Radius. Well, I'm sorry, I gotta break this bad news to you, man. But the standalone version of Into the Radius, you can't mod. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen, buddy. Hopefully, the standalone version for Into the Radius 2 will have some mod support. But for now, Into the Radius is only moddable on your PC. I am going to be leaving a bunch of links in the description of this video that will take you directly to the Nexus mod page so you can check out these mods for yourself. Well anyways, that is the end of the video, dude. Go take a look at each of these mods. Like I said, the links to them are in the description of this video. Hopefully this video was helpful to you if you are having a hard time installing mods for Into the Radius. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome weekend, my dudes, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!